I was walking through the forest of moccasin bread When I saw a troll boy wearing tight pants I want to own them But can you even dance, dance in those pants? Watch me, woman! They made a move like a vessel of shimmy All sweet and tender like a tiny baby kitty I need to get some, put my body in them Then I will rule the lines Call me Lady Tiger, but I never eat my young no, no. My legs in those pants to dream When I would move, I'd scream Watch out for my body rolls Watch out for my body rolls High kicks, high kicks, this is how we do yeah. Watch out for my body rolls Watch out for my body rolls High kicks, high kicks, this is how we do yeah. I beg that boy to make me some Gotta dance like that where I come from Grab a partner for my line Cut and stitch and make Hey Ryan, what are you doing? I'm playing with Jinxie with the Smurfs. See, here's uh oh, Jinxie's getting grumpy. I should let her go away. You yeah, won't. just cover her up. She'll be all right. Okay, Jinxie, you can go under the covers. She likes to hide under there. Yes, sometimes she just likes to be left alone. Yeah, cause we were playing and then she started to get grumpy a little bit. But she's just right there, and so she likes to stay under there and hide, kind of like a blanket for it. But I sometimes make her pillow for it. Mm, I know. Maybe we should make a pillow for it. Maybe we should check your diaper because it's been a while. Oh, yeah, maybe. I'll get down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because it's been quite a while, I think. Oop. Ah. Uh-oh. Yes. Yeah, somebody is definitely, definitely in need of a diaper change before we have our pasta. Yeah, because if we didn't, then it would get leaking everywhere, which would be really bad because leaking diapers can get everything wet and that can be embarrassing sometimes, especially if it happens when you're not at home, when you're outside somewhere. <laughs> All right, let's see what's on the ballot for today. Let's see here. Oh, it's Mario. Perfect. <laughs> Holly, where's my swig? Right here, Puddin. And don't call me Puddin. All right, Mario, let's see what you have to say for me, shall we? Wait a second. Hey, stop, right? Hey, stop. My score. All right, guys, the chief topic at hand today is fart fetish. Yes, indeed. I'm about to elaborate and address the fart fetish to you guys. Now, so what we have, what we've got here, three variables, three components. Now, I've always been a butt man my whole life. Intrigued, basically, essentially, the fart fetish is when you or me, a male, a man, just a plain old man, fascinates about. an attractive or pretty females behind or butt or tush, whatever you want to call it, ass. Now, so what we've got here is where I'm trying to go with, where I'm going with this is 
call it fart dumb, call it related to water sports, brown showers, golden showers. A man is turned on or gets his jollies, um, wants to take in the aroma, sniff, take in that odor, fragrance, aroma, scent, fragrance, odor, aroma, smell. from a hot chick's butt. Like I said, no. I'm about to get into it. There are three components, though, that um, I'm going to relate to you guys. Every inch of your cock is throbbing inside me. And I'm on my knees. I'm begging pretty please. Can you come inside of me? Of me? Yeah, fuck me like you do. Fuck, fuck, fuck me like you do. Fuck me like you do.